Uh, question is, have you ever had to make a claim on insurance? I've heard USPS can be a real pain in the butt. Would love to see your thoughts on that subject sometime. Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I have 19 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First things in C1, this is an IBM watch. Uh, part of the big watches, watch a lot I got from Danny and Parker. This sold for $24.99, free shipping. Let's go and ask if you're named Ben. Ben, thank you for the support. Hope you like the watch. Okay, next are some Scotch hang tabs. I've got them in a box up here. Let's move this hat out of the way. I got these from my guy, Mike. There are 10 of them in this case, and one buyer bought three boxes. One, two, three, and the selling price was $59.97 plus shipping. Next is a hat in C3, and I have a feeling I sold more than one thing out of here, so I'm just gonna bring the whole bin. Um, this one right here, Charlotte Hornets. Had a really cool design on the side. So I made that the first picture that they saw that first. Um, I got this from Kevin, the Tennessee Picker. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Okay, also sold this SpongeBob SquarePants CD player with headphones. Um, also got that from Kevin, Tennessee Picker. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. One other thing I got from Kevin, sold out of here, is this um, NES Zelda Adventure of Link game. It's actually mismatched, so it says the classic series, which would mean it's the gray cart, but the cartridge is gold. So I made sure that I listed that, and I think it hurt the value a tiny bit. Um, if it was just the regular gray, you know, complete with the box, it might have gone for 40 And if it was the gold, with the original gold box, it might have gone for like 50 or so. I'm not totally sure, but as it is, it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And that is it for C3. Next down here in A5, it is a couple of patches. It's been a while since I've listed them, so they're probably going to be down here near the bottom. All right, I think it's one of these. Let's bring some of these over here. Okay, so it is a fighter squadron patch that's sold for $9.49 free shipping. And it is a pair of these patches. I think I had four of these. Yeah, two of these sold for $7.99 free shipping and they're all going to the same buyer next is a stapler and b1 got this at a garage sale over the summer got a big box of them actually and i've made some really good money on them i got about two dollars into it this sold for 29.99 plus shipping next thing going out are some ornaments and c2 these are some hot wheel ornaments i got from kevin uh these sold for 14.99 plus shipping your name Robert got those ornaments. Robert, thank you so much for the support. All right, guys, every week I've been showing you one thing that I'm packing and how I'm packing it. This week I'm going to show you how I will pack this SpongeBob CD player. First, I'm going to wrap it in bubble wrap. And next, I'm going to grab a priority mail box. This is the 1092. This measures. Just over 12 inches uh, by 2.75 by 13.375. And I like using these because they're free to get. I get them from my post office or you can get them on USPS.com. And they work for a variety of things. So you fold it down. It comes with some adhesive tape already. So you can just pull this tab and push it down. But in my experience, it does not stick very well. I mean, I'll push this down really hard and I cannot get it to stick usually. So. I usually put another strip of tape over that. Pop it in the box. A little bit of space in there, so I'm going to put a little bit of paper in there. And it's good to go. Next thing is an Xbox game in B4. Serious Sam 2 that sold for $12.99 for shipping. Next thing I'm shipping out is a tennis racket right here. This is a Wilson Hyper Hammer, something I've had for a couple months. Paid $5 for it. It sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a metal detector, an E2. This is one of those little handheld ones. Saw this for my mother-in-law. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a bobblehead down here in A6. I've had this for quite some time. It is... The Cincinnati Cyclones Santa bobblehead. I figured it would probably, you know, take until around Christmas time to sell, and sure enough, it did. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C2. It's a couple toys. These are homies figures. Uh, something I bought in Fort Wayne a few months back. These sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is in B6, and I actually sold 
two things out of here, both the same thing. Um, so with those ornaments I got from Kevin, there was a bunch of Charlie Brown ones, and whoever had them originally bought duplicates. So I was able to make two lots of uh, Charlie Brown ornaments, and each one sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is this Xbox travel bag for the original Xbox. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Your name Cassie bought that for her boyfriend. Cassie, thank you so much for the business. Really hope he likes that bag. Next thing is in B5. It is another lot of Hot Wheels ornaments. And the, this lot only had three of them. So these sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Your name Aaron bought these. Aaron, thank you for the support. Hope you like the ornaments. All right, last thing I'm shipping out today is in C6. Is TV show Lost new in the plastic that sold for $9.99 for shipping? Let's go on to viewer named Laura. She says, Just wanted to let you know I love your videos and I've learned a lot. Look forward to watching them every time you post. Have a great holiday and stay safe. Laura, thank you for the kind words. Happy holidays to you too. It's Tuesday morning. I have a dozen eBay orders to ship out, but first I want to answer a couple of questions from viewers. First is from Mod and Pop Thrift. Oh my goodness, my daughter loves Moana. It looks like she isn't the only one. Uh, that was a video where my daughter had a little Moana doll. Uh, question is Have you ever had to make a claim on insurance? I've heard USPS can be a real pain in the butt. Would love to see your thoughts on that subject subject sometime. Um, I have had to make a claim, several claims actually, with USPS, and it's not too difficult. Um, so when you ship priority mail, you get $50 insurance automatically. If you ship first class, you get zero. But I've had some broken things, and basically you just go into USPS.com, uh, click file a claim. Uh, they're going to ask for proof of like the value, so I, I screenshot my eBay sale, and then they want uh, proof of damage if you have photos. So if your buyer says it's broken, have them send you some pictures. I always just refund them right away then I deal with USPS and most of the time it's like seven to ten days that they mail me a check I've had pretty good luck with uh, making insurance claims with them next is from Michael Davis John I want to get into liquidation pallets I don't ever see you doing them though I would love to know your thoughts on liquidation versus yard sales thank you uh, first off like yard sales and garage sales in my opinion are the highest ROI out there period because you can find stuff super cheap sell for really big money so that's why I love garage sales so much I have done some pallets in the past about five years ago I was driving to Indianapolis like once or twice a month buying like four or five pallets at a time like I'd get a big u-haul trailer and drive out there and buy a bunch of stuff and it was amazon returns and it was always auctions so they didn't have individual prices on pallets like they would auction off each one so you could get some really good deals and most of the ones i see now they have a fixed price on the pallet they come up with some kind of you know retail value that they think it's all worth and then they sell it for like 40 percent of that um so if if you're gonna get into that just be careful because a lot of times they overprice that stuff and don't go off of their retail price. You know what I mean? Like do your homework and see if it's actually going to be worth it. But there are a lot of companies that are doing liquidation pallets. Some are doing a whole pallet. Some are doing individual stuff off the pallet. There's just so many different ways that these companies are selling them. And what they're doing is they're just getting returns. You know, Amazon, Home Depot, Walmart, like all the big retailers and they're finding their own ways to sell it so the, you can make money that way if you've never done it i'd say start small you know get a cheaper pallet and something that you think there's going to be some good return on anybody watching this if you guys have done um liquidation pallets and you have advice leave a comment below okay first thing i'm shipping out i pulled from my storage unit this is a tether made r11 driver i bought from kevin the tennessee picker sold for 64.99 plus shipping next is a bobblehead an e4 this is del curry uh, this sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Your name Colby bought this for son Matt Jr. Colby, thank you for the support. Really hope Matt likes this bobblehead. Something else that's sold in here is this Orlando Magic starter jacket. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. That jacket's going to a viewer. They say, love your videos. Keep up the great content. You've inspired me to become a picker in Rhode Island. Um, there's no name. It just says Vaulted Vintage USA. But anyways, thank you so much. Wish you nothing but the best of luck with eBay. Next is in C5. One buyer actually got two items out of here. So I'll just go ahead and pull them both. Actually, I think I sold something else out of here too. Okay, so one thing I know I sold is this battery charger and adapter. So at least for my mother-in-law and then a battery to match that which is in here somewhere there it is um i think i was asking like 35 plus shipping on this and 60 plus shipping on this uh, buyer offered 90 dollars uh free shipping for the pair for all of it and i said okay that sounds good to me 
it'll go on a regional A, so I'll be able to save a little bit of money on shipping with that. And also in C5, I sold this uh, Garmin Drive 5-inch uh, with lifetime maps. GPS is sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm shipping is back in F1. This is a Zippo lighter, new in the box, that sold for $14.99 free shipping. If your name Edward got that lighter, Edward, thank you for the support. It means a lot. Next is down here in A5. It is this Harry Potter action figure that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Michael's getting this for his son Timothy for a Christmas present. So Michael, thank you for the support. Really hope Timothy likes this. Next is in B1. This is a card game, new in the plastic, fun employed. Got this for a dollar at a garage sale and sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is an E2. This is a North Face rain jacket. Also something I got from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next is a B5. It is a Barbie Harley ornament. Let's see. Not that one. This one right here. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing's down here in E5. It is a Goonies action figure. Let's see here. I think it's right here. This is Data. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Last order I'm shipping out today has two items. First is down here in E5. I was in here earlier. I guess I could have just stayed in here. Uh, first thing is... Bilbo Baggins, Lord of the Rings action figure. And next is, let's see, where did I put this? It's a brilliant uh, ruby red heating mask, something I got from Mike. I think it is right up here. Same buyer got these two for $27.98 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.